My name is Dr. Ralph Fama. I'm the president of the Korean Foundation for International Health, Global Illumina Ghana Chapter. As part of our KG activities this year, we're embarking on a club food sensitization program to bring club food to the awareness of mothers, parents, and healthcare staff. Around 174,000 children, one in every 800, are born with clubfoot globally every year. Clubfoot is actually the deformity of the foot that normally occurs from birth and is characterized by severe twisting of the foot. Mostly when a baby is born, you might see the foot has turned inward down and then there is also stiffness in the foot. The top of the foot is usually twisted downward and inward, increasing the arc and turning the heel inward. The foot may be turned so severely that it looks as if it's upside down, causing a child to walk on his ankles. I am in the MND hospital. I weak and I am going say there is a problem with my left foot. Na me te te nsem bebe se ma wo yare fo a o ntumi nante nti na me yem hehe me na me ni me ni a wehe mu bia se bi a me ba ne be nante for children born with club foot in lower and middle income countries less than 15% will assess treatment the rest will face a lifetime severely affected by their club foot. If the child is left unattended to, the child becomes a permanent disability in our society. And it becomes a burden on the family. It becomes a burden on the country as large. That's why we find street children who cannot walk, crawling in traffic, begging for arms. <laughs> Most children born with club foot in lower and middle income countries experience ongoing pain, limited mobility, and reduced opportunities in education, employment, and relationships. And yet, their friends are about 21 and two because of one and Parents with clubfoot babies are often shy from disclosing the deformity of their children. This is a result of stigma associated with clubfoot. My parents now, there was this stigmatization of almost family and other siblings now, almost so. Never in a night back where you real room. The unfortunate aspect of this deformity is that especially for most mothers and parents out there, they tend to always have the superstitious pain on it. So there's a delay in the health seeking um, behavior. Some mothers think that it is the case. It is not true. The cause of club food is unknown and treatment is available here in Ghana in our health facilities. We do not know how to prevent club food, but we do know how to treat it, and it costs less than $400 a child. The Ghana Club Food Initiative started in 2008 as a partnership with Focus Cure International and with local health facilities and in partnership with the Ghana Health Service. The partnership was to train health professionals on the management of club food using the Ponsete method. 
That is the gold standard approved by the WHO. Here what we do is that we use the post-senti method of treatment club foot. We do our first assessment plus the scoring, which is using the Pirani score to determine the severity of the foot. And then we start with the casting. We do weekly casting. After every week, we reassess and then we do a POP, a maximum of six, sometimes four, and then the foot is ready. Then we start with our bracing. And this is the brace that we use, which is called the foot abduction brace. Mostly we admit our patients here for the weekly casting. Then when we are done, we discharge you with a brace. The success rate for treating clubfoot is very high when identified early. You are looking at about 90 to 95%. And this is based on studies that has been conducted over 50 years. Within two weeks, almost to me, treaty club foot. No, I'm a new na a come by and say to me, Jinaho, or my arm as you see, and a nine. I see out to me, Jinah, first I count to me, Jinah, but she see a day, a nine nothing to me, Jinah, and so first, no, not because of club foot, it's not made them for washing a who say and for one or at saying they are called the other leg, no. But for now, now, you're treating your media. What is the channel? It is straight. The evidence is quite overwhelming. What KG is doing now is that we are trying to encourage all of you out there, the mothers, everyone, the frontline health workers, once you identify any child or any baby with this deformity, refer the baby to the appropriate center so at least treatment can be initiated. Club foot is something that is preventable. This is the reason why Coffee is partnering with the KGA to sensitize parents and other stakeholders on this abnormality. Any mother out there whose child is suffering from this kind of abnormality should go to the hospital for treatment. <laughs> We entreat all parents with babies with club food to visit our facility to start the treatment of club food. It is not costly. This year, as part of our activities in KGA, we're having the sensitization program and we'll have eminent persons and specialists in that area educating us on the prevalence, the problems that are associated with it stigmatization as well as ways of dealing with it. Encourage any club foot within your facility or in your catchment area or society to seek medical attention because help is available.